Good morning from Midlands Today at breakfast. 80 arrests were made overnight as fresh disturbances took place in Birmingham, Wolverhampton and West Bromwich. There was also some disorder in Gloucester. In Birmingham, police appeared to have the streets under more control than the previous night and fewer shops were looted. But this shop was targeted. Looters managed to rip off the security shutters and steal TVs and audio equipment. A car was also set alight near Moore Street Railway Station. And then they started kicking and bashing the shutter. And it, it seemed it must have taken five minutes before the police turned up to start dealing with that. But by then, of course, they were running out with televisions and all sorts. There were pockets of disorder in Wolverhampton and West Bromwich. Gangs of youths vandalised and looted shops and businesses. The cost of the damage will run into tens of thousands of pounds. One jeweller who's been in the city for 46 years says he's never seen things so bad. Look, broken glass. They've even tried to open the safes. Luckily, they couldn't get into them. They've ransacked all the drawers. Counters are upside down. They've taken all the jewellery out of those because we're allowed to keep it in the shop. I just, I don't know, there's probably about 30,000 quid worth, 40,000 quid of damage. More than that, probably. And you can tune in to BBC WM for more updates through the morning. Meanwhile, police say it's too early to say if the deaths of three men in Birmingham are linked to any part of last night's disorder. The men were pedestrians and were hit by a car on Dudley Road near City Hospital. Up to 200 friends and family gathered at the hospital waiting for news. They're concerned about their community's safety. I'm flying, took out three of the guys, we're flying into midair, landed and they just ran, the, the gone off, that's it, that's all that happened. Stop, they intentionally didn't stop, went into intentionally went into us, under curb, onto the curb, and the curb. and we're gone within ten, within ten to five, six, seven seconds, it was all over. The third test match between England and India is due to start this morning at Edgebaston.